I'm Joanne with We Need Diverse Books. I'm Joe Bruchan, a writer and a storyteller. And I am included in this book, The Hero Next Door, with my story, The Save. What was the inspiration for it? And um, did you actually play sports when you were a kid? So I sort of thought, well, what if I wanted to tell a story about? And that idea of a kid who's not really sure of himself as a lacrosse player, yeah. who finds his own way, not necessarily in the game itself, came to me and I just followed it through, saw where it went and ended up with this story. I never played lacrosse. Unfortunately, okay. when I was in high school and college lacrosse, I was a wrestler. Okay. So I was not doing that. Although I've always had great respect and love for the sport, when I made my main character and put the name Orin in the story, yeah. it was a little homage to Orin Lyons, who I have loved and respected for, for many decades. But the idea that people play sports, sports is a Native American conception in terms of games that are team sports. Most European sports were individual contests, one against the other. Mm -hmm. But in our Native cultures, the idea was that we play together. We don't just play to win, but also in a sense, a lacrosse game can be like a prayer, a way of making an offering to the Creator. Sometimes if someone is ill, you play a lacrosse game in honor of that person to bring them back to health. So having a lacrosse game played, having it played by a Native American team who might legitimately call themselves the Warriors mm -hmm. <laughs> against a non-Native team on the reservation, bringing people into that unfamiliar setting, I think is a very important thing to do in a story, to acquaint people with a culture and a place they may not be familiar with, but it's every day to those who are part of it. So in terms of young adult or middle grade fiction, what would you recommend? Well, I thought a lot about this, and there are so many good writers uh, in so many places doing so many things, and I thought I would just limit myself to some Native American writers. Absolutely. And I actually wrote them down because if you don't write things down, sometimes you forget it. Yeah. Uh, oh, and, yeah. I've got this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cynthia Leidich Smith. Of course. Sin is a friend of mine, wonderful writer. Her blog, Sensations, is something we should all know about. Her newest book is called Hearts Unbroken. And it's so cool, because here you have a young man who wants to play a part in The Wizard of Oz, but is Native American. And you also have a young woman who's a newspaper reporter in her school, dealing with a very intolerant parents group. Yes. It's a fascinating story, and I really applaud her for writing that. Gary Robinson, who's Choctaw Cherokee, and his newest one published this year is called Standing Strong, about a young woman, a Native woman, who finds no purpose in her life, then she finds about the water protectors movement and finds purpose and place by standing strong for the environment. Anthony Perry. Anthony is Chickasaw, has a young adult novel called Chula the Fox. It's a historical novel about the, his own people. And what's interesting to me about that is not only that I like the book, but that it was published by White Dog Press, which is a division of uh, Chickasaw Press, a native publishing company now publishing YA fiction for the first time. Uh, there are lots of other writers I could mention, but yeah, unfortunately so there, there are so many. I think I'll just cut it off here because <laughs> unlike 20 years ago when I couldn't think of 20 writers, now I can think of 20 just in terms of Native American writers. That's what I love about the We Need Diverse Books movement because we help contribute to lifting up those voices. I just wanted to ask you a quick lightning round, if that's okay. Sure. Coffee or tea? Tea. Day or night? Twilight. Ah. Outline or freeform? Freeform. Week to week or binge watching? Every hour. Typing or writing longhand? I never write in longhand. I can't read my own longhand, but oh, I yeah. print. <laughs> <laughs> when I have a notebook with me, I'll print it out and yeah. then I'll transcribe it onto my computer later. Excellent. Thank you so much for talking with me today. My pleasure. The Hero Next Door will be out July 30th. Everyone travel well. Olipankani Nidoban.